everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, where we are playing Ecrutique City. This is turn 25. Let's jump into things. All right, so uh, we've got a little bit going on this turn. Flip through everything. We have completed Thaumaturgy 4. We're taking a quick dip into Conjuration 3. Azalea's City has claimed the Throne of Fortune. We cast Reanimation. Uh, we sight searched. Didn't find anything. We sight searched with a great medium, which <laughs> the fucking madness on these these units is driving me insane. And then we've got some battles, so let's actually watch these. We've got a battle in Vertlin, right, where we sent in uh, about an eighty stack, not quite, but pretty close, I think, um, into this PD that had beaten us previously. So we get a first volley, and then we get the swarm to engage. <laughs> and there's like this like circular firing squad. It's horrible with a haunter just like in the middle. Uh, but that's a pretty easy victory. One casualty, not too bad. Then we have a battle in Ba on Kish, which we are trying to um, correct our kind of like setup. Um, take on these uh, Aerodactyls. Let's see how we do. Alright, so we're spread out to avoid the fucking Hyper Beams. Hyper Viper Beam, basically. The hyper Beams are tearing into this blob over here. Immediately, of course, we do get our barrages into our own people, because that's how we do. Another Hyper Wave comes out. And our guys are kind of trying to filter forward at this point. And we notice... Okay, now the waves are really starting to move. But are they? No, not really. They're kind of just still staying in fucking... <sighs> so they don't care. They just don't... They don't care. They just keep shooting. Regardless. Um, even when they're on attack rears, they, they, when someone gets in range, the AI is just like, oh, I have a ranged weapon. Let's just start shooting, man. Okay. We lose again. Next plan. Next plan fucking plan. Okay, what did we lose? We lost we did kill a Machoke. We lost 85 fucking Gastlies and four Haunters. Okay. New plan. New plan. Fucking that's dumb. That's dumb. But new plan. We'll get there. All right. Uh we've got an unexpected event in Lilidor. This is unfortunate. The plague has struck the land. Empty cabins and rotting corpses litter the landscape, so we've lost 2.6 uh we've lost 2640 units or population. This is one of those percentage loss uh ones that's kind of unfortunate. But I mean we're a death nation anyway, so this is all going to go down regardless. It's just it speeds up the loss of income. All right, whatever. So that's Lilidor, Fierce Forest of Dune. A treasure has been found. And holy shit, that's a big treasure. So we've got 1,065 gold, 5 fire gems, 6 air gems, 1 water gem, 1 earth gem, and a totem shield. That is an immense amount of gold. That is fantastic. This is why, this is why we have Lux Scales. But aside from the fact that I just enjoy Lux Scales more than I do Misfortune Scales, this is why we have Lux Scales as... As fucking um, Ecrutique is so that we can get occasional piles of money and actually do something with those piles of money. We have started to destroy the gate at the port of Swamp of Solitude. It's going very slowly because ghosts. And then we got promotions. All right. So we have repeatedly failed in Ba'an Kish. Um, regardless of units having different commands. Um, in fact, you know what? I think I might have screwed this up. I might not have put the right commands on all of these units, but I'm not sure it matters. Um, I honestly think at this point, 
they're just gonna they're just gonna sit there and attack anyways. Um, what I am doing this turn here's here's the other thing though. Once again, Cyan Woodchief isn't really doing anything, so I am going to be moving my units. I'm not going to be attacking Ba and Kish this turn. I'm basically waiting for reinforcements to come in. All right, so we've got... We're moving uh, 16 and 20 into Greenwoods. Um, we're moving 14 and 13 into Larian Swamps. And then... Well, we're moving 13 into Larian Swamps and 14 into Greenwoods as well. And then we might take Ba and Kish with those reinforcements. But before that, we're actually moving... Kimono 15 and 18 onto Cyanwood City just to kind of see where... Because I think his god is over here in Annika, right? It's possible his god is just sitting in the city, though, and going to bounce, right? Like, do a... Do a... Oh, he attacked me. Come out and clear it. Oh, go back in. Oh, he attacked me. Come out and clear it. If that's the case, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start hitting him every single turn with a stack, right? So we'll see, but we're going to sit on Cyan for a turn just to see what's happening in Enika. Um, and we probably will send Kimono 15 over there as well, because it's possible that Viridian City is fighting him over here. Um, so reinforcements in the area of Bon Kish, scouting Cyan with City, uh, moving forces onto Swamp of Solitude to hold it, uh, moving more forces up that way with Komodo 19 um, to try to get it down faster. Okay, so we've got quite a few units there. We've got bodyguards for all of our people. And you may notice we've got these little splits. Um, and we're kind of going around and doing this for units that we think might actually get into combat. And we're going to start separate. This is, this is the next strategy, next strategy, right? Um, we're going to start separating out our units that do not have ranged attacks, and we're going to put them into squads on the sides and put them on attack group commands. Because I don't know what the fuck else to do, basically. I, I am having a hell of a time getting these ghosts to fight and not kill themselves and not just shoot over and over and over and over and over again for all of eternity. So, um, that's the generalized plan. So that's kind of what happened. What's happening with the war in Cyanwood City? In other news, we are actually sending Blue Chan too, um, with a small group down into Green Waters, and this might fail. It might not. We'll see. Um, but we haven't had. No one's been taking the water provinces over here. So I'm gonna dip it, dip my toes in, and see how it goes. Basically. Um, other than that, we're mostly just doing our move around things. Uh, moving, gathering up ghosts, etc. Except we are moving out Kimono 22 and Kimono 24 with an 80 stack of skeletons and a 77 stack of ghosts. So we are actually moving our uh, a siege stack over towards Cyanwood City. And that is because, again, if Cyanwood is not moving, if they basically like stopped really doing anything... We're going to bring that siege stack over to try to start doing that. The other the other thing is, is we are getting very close to um, our setup, right? Our soul slay uh, setup, etc. Right? Thaumaturgy um, 5 is only 718 research away. So that's like three turns, basically. Um, once we get there, we are going to... I kind of want to already have some stuff in the vicinity. Um... And we're, we're going to continue to reanimate so that we have another siege stack. If this one gets, like, destroyed, that's fine. No big deal. We'll just, we'll have more. We've, ar we've already got another 20 here. In the next few turns, we'll, we'll have more. And as soon as we finish Thaumaturgy 5, we're going to twice born our, our junior boys and send them packing. Right? We've already got enough schoolgirls to form a Soul Slay communion of decent enough size. We also got a couple of white chans to be able to do that as well, right? 
And since we have jumped into this windfall, because keep in mind, we are recruiting a schoolgirl here. We're recruiting a kimono girl. We're recruiting in every single location. Kimono, um, a kimono, another white chandler here. We're actually, we need to upgrade this fort. Um, and we're sending, who is it? Kimono 23 over to do that. Um, so because of this windfall, we have a lot of gold. So we're actually going to grab a great channeler. Great channelers are automatically communion masters, right? But they do have madness. They do have insanity 10. Um, and they have berserker eight. I don't, I don't understand some of the fucking shit on this. Like why do the, why do they have madness and berserker? Why does this one have flying? I don't understand what's going on with some of these things. I don't I don't know. These units are like somewhat difficult to use. <laughs> or or they can just like fuck you in the wrong situations, right? But that being said, the Great Chandler is a very strong unit. It comes with a lot of different paths. Um it does come with astral guaranteed, so you can always uh, even if it didn't, you're a communion master, so you're always going to be in a communion. Um, but it comes with air, which is a very good path to be at a communion in. It comes with astral, which is obviously a good path to be communion in. Water is less of a big deal, but it does have access to death, which is also a very good path to be communion in. And it is a priest too, right out of the gate. So you can do um, pretty good boosts like you can get up to h3 or even h5 uh pretty pretty easily h3 is ridiculously easy h5 is a little more challenging but it's definitely possible right so we're gonna spend some money on a great channeler um just because these things are a little pricey if we get lucky right we can twice born this um but yeah that's about it that's that's pretty much the turn realistically um our god is continuing to research we haven't hit any any break points where i feel like i need him to be doing other things like like forging or casting ritual spells we are like i said we're jumping into conjuration basically almost exclusively for dark knowledge and revive uh whites because i think i think having a couple whites to bring to to the fight like, I think having a couple whites to go up against the Aerodactyls probably would do the trick, um, you know? So whites might end up being that kind of, like, muscle that we need, that we don't have right now. Um, our god is prepared. Our god can travel very far, by the way. So our god can make it all the way to Greenwoods in a single turn. Sneaking, by the way. Um... So, we've got a lot of mobility on him. So, as the skeleton army gets closer, we're going to be able to pick our engagements pretty well, fairly well, right? Um, but, of course, we want the Soul Slay Communion to be coming in anyway. So, this is still probably on the same timetable. Still looking at around uh, turn 30 or so as we, we try to finish off the battle against Cyanwood. And... As I've said, right after we finish the battle with Cyanwood, we're kind of just in a holding pattern. We kind of want to be in a holding pattern because we kind of want to focus on research at that point and see if we can't get going. So basically, Thaumaturgy 5, then Construction 4, then Conjuration 9, basically, is would be the, the generalized goal. I say that, but we'd probably stop. Uh, we'd probably... Polish off Enchantment 5 for Horde of Skeletons. We probably dip into Evocation and Alteration on occasion. But the general goal is Thaumaturgy 5, Instruction 4, and then Conjuration 9. With a couple dips here or there. So that's basically the turn. It's not an exhilarating turn. It's not an exciting turn. Because fuck these Aerodactyls. And fuck my ghosts. And fuck my life. Like, God, this is... This has been frustrating. The... As I believe most things in this mod. This mod, I've, I, I've, I've, this is the third time I've multiplayered this mod. 
and I keep playing it because it's really cool, because I like Pokemon, because a lot of the things that are happening in this mod are really, really interesting. But there are a lot of things in here that are very overly complex. Ghosts are absolutely overly complex. The fact that there's like 15, that's two, that's more than they're actually, the fact that there's like eight different ghosts, eight, eight, eight different versions of ghosts is a little complicated. The fact that they have so many abilities, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, third, I'm not gonna count that. So 12, 13, 14, and I don't count promotion. So 14 abilities. And some of them interact really weirdly, right? It's it's kind of a it's kind of a cluster, right? It it is a difficult nation to you to do anything against. And I'm I'm pretty positive the only reason that we're doing okay at all is because we went up against Cyanwood and Cyanwood did not have a plan to deal with ghosts. Did not have a plan to deal with ethereal basically right um if we had gone up against azalea uh, to start with would have killed us straight out if we'd have gone up against viridian city it would have killed us straight out almost any other nation would have killed us cyan would just literally doesn't have magic weapons no. and i think that's the only thing that we really have going for ourselves right now so we've got to finish off cyan wood and then we've got to diversify. We've got to make it to where that's not the only thing that we have going on. We've got to make it to where we have strong communions, that we have good forging capabilities, potentially, depending on what we have, to where we have strong super combatants and great path access, etc. Et right? Like, we've got to branch out and see what we can accomplish as far as that goes. So anyways, that's going to be it for the turn. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.